You never knew the depth of Shine's issues with Diddy until now. Here's the truth behind their tumultuous history. And believe it or not, this goes way beyond just a feud. It's a story of betrayal, redemption, and the quest for justice that you won't want to miss. Stick around to uncover the full story behind Shine's explosive comments and how this ongoing saga could impact both their lives and legacies. The former bad boy rapper turned politician has recently made headlines with his fiery reaction to the federal charges against Sean Diddy Combs. At a press conference in his native Belize on September 18th, Shine didn't hold back, offering a scathing critique of Diddy's role in his tumultuous past. Shine's grievances with Diddy date back to a fateful night in 1999 at Club New York, where a high-profile shooting occurred. Shine, then a rising star in the hip-hop world, found himself entangled in a legal nightmare that would change his life forever. Diddy, who was also at the club that night, walked away scot-free, while Shine was sentenced to nearly a decade in prison. This disparity in their fates has fueled Shine's ongoing bitterness towards the music mogul. In his recent statements, Shine detailed how he felt betrayed by Diddy. He recalled his youthful enthusiasm, aiming to make his family proud and elevate his homeland of Belize through his success. Instead, he believes that Diddy's actions directly contributed to his incarceration. When I was an 18-year-old kid, um, you know, just wanting to do nothing other than make my mother proud and make Belize proud and um, do what all of us want to do, be recognized for our talent and uh, take over the world. Uh, I was defending him and he turned around and called witnesses to testify against me and he contributed, he pretty much sent me to prison. So that is the context by which you must always describe that relationship. Yes, I forgave, I moved on, but let us not pretend as if I was in Miami for Thanksgiving and Christmas. Well, I saw and you I spent a birthday with him once. I, went, I saw a birthday cake. I went again to do a charity event for impoverished youth uh, in London. Um, so let us not lose sight of what the cold hard facts are. This was not someone uh, who I vacationed with and who he and I enjoyed this great intimate relationship of brotherhood. This is someone who destroyed my life and who I forgave and who I moved on and for the better interest of Belize uh, because he was in a position at that time to give scholarships and to maybe invest. Um, I would not uh, deny uh, attempting to bring the investment to Belize and to bring the contributions to education to Belize. But don't distort it as if, you know, he and I were boom uh, This is someone that destroyed my life. But do I take any joy or any satisfaction with what he is going through? Um, absolutely not. I, I, I am different than maybe other people. No one needs to fail for me to succeed. No and one, say, no one needs to suffer for me. In your, at, the, at the height of your professional relationship or thereafter through the reconciliation when he was an instrumental part of promoting you through Revolt Media, did you, were you aware of these freak off events and were you aware of them? Did you have any participation in them? Oh my goodness, Jules Vasquez. <laughs> Jules Vasquez. Were you aware of that? Jules Vasquez. <laughs> Were you aware of the free coughs? Because Sir, I, I, I had nothing to do with Sean Combs' uh, personal life, no interaction. That level, everything was strictly on a professional level. When I was an 18-year-old kid just wanting to do nothing other than make my mother proud and make Belize proud, I was defending him and he turned around and called witnesses to testify against me, Shine revealed. According to Shine, Diddy's legal maneuvers were not just a matter of self-preservation, but a calculated move that led to Shine's imprisonment. The rapper turned politician describes feeling let down by someone he once considered a mentor and ally. Despite forgiving Diddy, Shine's remarks make it clear that he still harbors deep resentment over the way he was treated. Shine's forgiveness, however, 
was not without its own set of motivations. He acknowledged that despite their fraught relationship, Diddy's position in the music industry offered potential benefits for Belize. Shine saw an opportunity for his country to gain from Diddy's wealth through investments and educational contributions. He was in a position at that time to give scholarships and to maybe invest. I would not deny attempting to bring the investment to Belize and to bring the contributions to education, Shine explained. Despite these attempts to leverage his relationship with Diddy for the greater good, Shine's personal grievances with the mogul remain unresolved. The ongoing federal charges against Diddy, involving sex trafficking and racketeering, have rekindled these old wounds. Shine's reaction underscores a profound sense of injustice that has persisted over decades. In the broader context, this drama ties into a larger narrative involving the 1999 shooting. The Rubin, the victim of the shooting, recently made headlines with her own claims about Diddy's involvement. She accused Diddy of paying off the club to cover up evidence and intimidate witnesses. Rubin's accusations add another layer of complexity to the case and fuel public interest in the long-standing feud between Shine and Diddy. The federal charges against Diddy could potentially reopen old wounds for Shine and others connected to the incident. While Shine has stated that he doesn't take joy in Diddy's current legal troubles, his comments reveal a deep-seated anger and sense of betrayal. I don't take any joy or any satisfaction with what he is going through, Shine said. I am different than maybe other people. No one needs to fail for me to succeed. In summary, Shine's recent statements highlight a complex web of personal betrayal, legal battles, and lingering resentment. His reaction to Diddy's current legal woes is not just a reflection of their past, but also a commentary on the broader implications of their shared history. As the legal battles unfold, the relationship between Shine and Diddy remains a poignant reminder of how personal grievances can intersect with larger legal and social issues. If you found this story intriguing, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more updates on the latest in hip-hop and entertainment. Like this video if you want to see more content like this and leave a comment below sharing your thoughts on Shine's revelations. Also, turn on post notifications so you never miss an update.